besides the music telling me, no, I can't do it. I can't forget about him. <laughs> Tell me that music's not saying that, CJ. I dare you. Yeah, it's not saying that. It's saying forget him. <laughs> it's, is that what the so the somber piano is saying in the distance? <laughs> all about that guy. He's a jerk. That's what I'm hearing. Get rid of him. <laughs> okay. No, I can't do it after all. He take your friend's advice and put the book away. It's almost time for class. Sprinkles is already in the room waiting for your students to arrive. He clears his voice and makes an announcement. I want you all to know I feel something of a dark moment coming on, but I assure you there's nothing to be afraid of. His cute nose scrunches up as he begins to breathe quickly. Uh, wait to see what happens. Sprinkles on top of his desk, focuses on a window. The room is deadly silent. When he feels gauge, he sees his tiny little squirrel perched on the cherry tree outside. Oh, a squirrel. Okay. Sprinkles then turns <laughs> feral and runs out the window. The classroom begins barking uncontrollably at the squirrel outside. Terrence, I told you to come back here, Terrence. I will destroy you, Terrence. Sprinkles is barking ferociously, drool flying, flying off his face. The squirrel looks over, but he doesn't say anything back. You wonder, is that even a talking squirrel? Who named him Terrence? <laughs> you better not say anything, chubby cheeks, ever again. After Sprinkles is satisfied that his presence has been felt by not only Terrence, but any other squirrel in the hearing distance, he returns to his professional tone. <laughs> I apologize for the outburst. This actually brings up an important point. Th thank you, Alejandro, rah, 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 for reminding me to throw out the indispensable wonder. You see, but before you go any further, Miriam's love drama spills out all over into the debt, into class. Sprinkles is interrupted by words and sparks coming out from the back of the room. Um, I don't... I don't know if I want to click that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that kind of game. That said you saved me after class. Bzz, bzz. You think I wanted to be thrown from a plane strapped to a stranger? Miriam and Clank appear to be arguing, but you haven't seen, still haven't learned to speak Clank's language of mechanical noises. Or... But yeah, you just had to show off to your cool friends Jeff and Joe, J and J forever. <laughs> Watch us form a triangle in midair as we descend. Triangles are strong as shape, don't you know? Bzz, bzz. Yeah, well, it doesn't make a great date. Bzz, <laughs> they take Jeff and Joe with you. You can hold hands as you pedal down the mountain over a cliff for all I care. Sad beep. Clink begins to shudder. Steams pour out of the gaps of his panel, and then a slow ding stops from inside his tracks. Bzz, bzz. <laughs> no man, see, anything is gonna make me want to eat that, Clink. Clank burps out a completely deep fried sneaker, considering that he himself has wheels, not his feet. It's entirely un it's not entirely clear where it came from. In terms of deep fried footwear, I guess it looks okay. Clank slowly rolls out of the room to be alone with his shoe. Everyone tries to pretend like they didn't see that entire thing go down. Nothing like a loud public breakup to cast a pall over the final day of school. Well, that was unfortunate. Oh, that was unfortunate. But we mustn't <laughs> distract ourselves from what lies ahead. The final competition showdown challenge exam. <laughs> Uh, I'm still working on the title, but I think you get a test down approach to see you in the arena. And before you can think of anything about the upcoming competition, there's still a very beautiful soul nearby in the of a pep talk. Hey, Miriam, are you okay? Okay, I'm so mad. I'm so, I'm so mad I could smash a tiny, a tiny mug several... Sp oh, I can't even say that out loud. <laughs> I'm so mad I could so smash a tiny mug spilling silver droplets of hot cocoa over the floor. How can he beige me and cause a day in front of everyone? Her tiny cocoa is a delicious treasure, so you know that this breakup is no joke, even if the source of her fr frustration is a silly boy. I know, I, I know you, that you know this, but I'm going to say it out loud. You don't need anyone. Me and you, we're going to cruise right through this final test and hit the carpool lane to Success City. Miriam brightens up, imagining the wind rushing through her short veins, but she hesitates to embrace the feeling all the way. You're not going to sit up and of a stallion and ride off into the sunset without me. Of course not. Well, maybe sort of, but I'm sure there's there's a pony out there with your name on it, with a big ranch enough for the both of us and whoever else we want to bring along. If it's not if it's not Pop or Clank, or anyone else you meet today, tomorrow, or next year, so what? You're a special person who shouldn't settle for the first someone to show a little interest anyhow. Miriam gives you a big hug and wipes her tears away from her cheeks. I should really review my meeting for today. It's gonna be a very special sheep. And I bet the Professor Dog is gonna love it up. And while you're talk pep talking Miriam, you completely missed lunch, but that's okay because you had a better idea how to spend your time before the exam. You decided to head to the arena to practice an early dish. To early practice the dish. 
Anyway, this is it. The location of your final challenge. A test of will, a test of courage, a test of talent. And a chance to beat bet, beat the pants off Van Van and the supposed Man Man and his evil or counterpart, Ashen. As planned, you begin to rush through a quick test of recipes you've been working on. Alejandro's famous chicken pot pie. Why is what does he get the pot pie? That's Colonel Sanders thing. <laughs> I'm just Colonel Sanders focuses on buckets of chicken. Oh, that that okay, that's his forte, I guess. After practicing <laughs> for months, making this dish comes second nature to you, and you quickly you're able to quickly get a fresh pot pie in the oven. But as soon as you do, <laughs> your Instagram session is interrupted by Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Alejandro, ra 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 ra, what are you doing here? There's still time before the final exam. Oh, just taking it all in. I'm big into visual visualizing success. I'm looking forward. No, I'm looking at my station and picturing victory. The pot pie has begun to bake, and the smell is slowly filling the space around you. Mm. Visualizing, huh? That's too bad. I was hoping you were here cooking something delicious. You'd usually happily share your food with anyone who is hungry, but the last time you let Colonel Sanders get in your head, it costs you a cook-off. You decide it's time to put your cooking above your romantic desires, but the decision it gets hard to stick when the oven timer goes off behind you. Fess up about your practice dish, I guess, because you don't want it to burn. Yeah, right? <laughs> okay, okay, you got me. I'm doing a little bit more than visualizing. I know. My nose can smell a pot pie from 400 yards. How do you know that? <laughs> How do you get that number? <laughs> I need If this... it's 401 yards, he can't smell it. <laughs> if it's 401, he's fucked. <laughs> That's an oddly specific distance, but you expect nothing less from such an oddly specific man. You knew it was a pot pie from just the smell? Not just a pot pie, but a chicken pot pie with an all butter crust. And my nose is telling me something else. Oh no, is it burning? Haha, <laughs> no. I can smell that it was made with a heaping love of TLC. Thick, loving cabbage. I don't know what TLC stands for, but it's, it's probably just burning off any second you don't pull it out. The moment of truth. Wow. That's the best pot pie I've ever tasted. It's all, all, it's, I've always loved country cooking and I could eat this all day. There's no time left. The final showdown is about to begin. Sprinkles lays down the ground rules. There are no rules except to cook everything you've got. You set forward for the cook off of a lifetime. You decided that mac and cheese plus the pot pie you've been practicing are just the dishes that you pull off over the edge that will push you over the edge of victory. When did he have yeah. his mac and cheese? <laughs> mac and cheese and pot pie. The best combination. <laughs> Meanwhile, both Van Van and Ash are prepping wildly elaborate dishes per their usual over the top selves. Miriam has her giant magnifying glass and several sets of tweezers. She's been definitely pre prepared to go. To be She's definitely prepared to go big, going small. <laughs> Colonel Sanders seems to be harnessing his 11 herbs and spices, but he's trying to find a way to improve on something that's already perfect. His original recipe, trademark, fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> the intensity of the room starts, to full, starts at a full 10 out of 10 with a frenzy of action. Everyone is calling out really cool special cooking moves as they prepare their food. Wow, this is getting serious. Colonel Sanders batters his chicken as it levitates through the air. Oh, wow. <laughs> Egg wash. Miriam furiously injects ingredients with her little itty bitty pot of broth. Best friend, blaster, blaster! <laughs> Van Van reflexes his pectorals as he chops open a sea urchin. Let's rock and roll it. <laughs> Ash uh, 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 scoops her pastry off the tray with lightning speed. Shut up, personality, speech! <laughs> Even Clay gets in on it. <laughs> Five <laughs> dial pressure point cook chicken cooking technique. Wait, when did Clay learn to speak English? It's the singularity. I was much more told. We mustn't let it happen, or the appliance uprising will take us all. <laughs> Self destruct. <laughs> Van Van quickly unplugs Clank and rolls him out of the back door of the arena. As you oh, right. prepare your dish, you notice Ash is as her spellbook out. Is she gonna use some kind of dark magic to turn the tide? You've got a book of your own, and you're disparate. Uh, you're and you're disparate not uh, to see her win another battle. Should you take the opportunity to fight magical magic, even if it's almost certainly evil magic? Do it the hard way, I say. 
<laughs> oh yeah, I guess you don't want to game over. It's gonna game over. Later. I already know. It's... Who needs magic when you've got passion? I'm gonna do it the hard way. Colonel Sanders seen that you chose to win on your own terms, and he gives you a subtle wink from across the room. <laughs> I believe in you, Alejandro. Do, 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 do. Miriam notices too. Yeah, I've always believed in you, Alejandro. Ever since we were little kids, because I'm your best friend forever. You turn to notice that Miriam is at your station cheering for you. <laughs> what, Miriam? What about your dish? If you're cheering, who's cooking? <laughs> Tiny feet, short cook time. I'm already done, so I thought I'd help you. Well, that's sweet, but Miriam tosses a handful of spices into your boiling noodles. It's a secret ingredient. However, she doesn't know that you lied about the secret ingredient was made up. Where in the world does she get an eye newt from? The boiling pot explodes, sending Miriam flying backwards. The watery noodles begin to swirl in the air, bubbling up in the dark cloud that thickens and congeals before your very eyes. <laughs> His eyes, Steve the Spark Monster. Steve? What happened to Gorko? You're not here to battle me, are you? We Spark Monsters are many. I think Gorko had a day off. And you, had a con and you have conjured Steve, and I hate the battle, so I'd say you're doing pretty all right. <laughs> Oh, hey, you're in the middle of a cooking competition? I love this stuff. It's better than TV. You kids and your culinary skills really impressed me. But I have a hangout. I'm sorry, Steve, but I'm kind of in the middle of something. Do you mind? See, the sort monster notices that you've got a grimoire stashed beneath your cooking station. I see what you're up to. Crisscross magical items and accidentally summoned me, huh? Well, yeah, I guess you guessed it, sort of. If you're here, would you mind tossing me some fresh noodles into a pot of salted water? I'd love to. I always wanted to be a top chef, actually. You see, you see, when I was actually a little sport pup back in the old country. You can feel the sport pup monster winding into a very long story. It's very involved, a very long and involved story. You don't know exactly where they came from, but it seems like that was probably lonely there. Actually, you know what? Maybe I, you should watch from the stands. I really need to focus on this competition. I understand. It's the kind of time when the monsters go to school. You had an idea during tattoos and I woke up. He touched a serious stare at Steve and he takes the hint. Yeah, man, I'll tell you later. Good luck. Okay. Having suffered a huge suspect, you don't know what to do. Oh. I, I, I don't, why would I do that? <laughs> Give up and drop out. <laughs> Game over. No! <laughs> you summon extra power from deep within yourself. I can do this. I have what it takes. I came here to win. Your yeah. hair turns mac and cheese orange as culinary energy flows from through your body? <laughs> my heart is pure. My hands are steady. My taste buds have been preparing their entire lives for... <laughs> yes, Alejandro Raro. You are the chosen one. You will avenge me. <laughs> the power you've been summoning immediately fades back out. You're interrupting my inspired monologue. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my heart is pure. My hands are steady. My taste buds have been preparing their entire lives for this moment. I will show the world my cookery. You begin to levitate off the ground. Energy courses through your body. You know that with this power, you can do anything except turn back time, which would have been super useful because then, while you were powering up, your entire chi chicken pot pie was overcooked and it oven and can't be served. But don't worry, dear Alejandro. Ra 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 ra. You may have suffered some setbacks, but not all is lost. Impressed by your fortitude, Colonel Sanders has said that you have earned his support. I've been watching you today, and I must say, I'm truly impressed. Even thinking on your feet and rolling with the punches. He steps up to your station and stands right beside you, and I'm here to help. All you've managed to make is mac and cheese, and time is almost up. You're going to need it. But Colonel Sanders, what about the test? What will happen to you? What about the rules? Following the rules has never been my thing. I follow my heart. What a hunk.